everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. In this crochet tutorial I will be showing you step by step how to crochet these absolutely adorable little granny squares. So these are little daisy granny squares. So you've got this beautiful daisy in the middle which I will show you how to do and then I will show you how to square off. You can just do one round to square off or you can do two like I've done here or you can keep growing this as large as you want it to be. So as you can see I'm doing all of my daisies in traditional daisy so yellow in the centre and then the beautiful long white petals and then I'm squaring them off with different pastel shades which I just think looks really springy and really beautiful. So you can use absolutely any yarn that you like just make sure that you use whatever hook size your selected yarn recommends. So it's a perfect one for scrap projects because obviously you can use up so many of your scraps making these. So as always you'll start with your slip knot on your hook. And I'm going to stick with the yellow, white and then a pastel colour to square off. So you'll start with a chain four, so one, two, three and four. You then want to insert your hook into that very first stitch just next to your slip knot and you're going to do a slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through both of those loops. And that just gives us a center circle to work our stitches. We're going to chain up two and that is going to count as our first treble crochet. So please do remember that I mainly use UK terminology but I will always give the US stitch name as well. So this first round is going to be US doubles, okay? So for me, these are going to be my treble crochet but in the US these are your double crochet and we want a total of 12 UK trebles so that chain two counts as our first one and then back into this center circle we want to do 11 more so yarn over insert into that center circle yarn over and pull up you'll have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so that's your first proper treble so we've now got two, we've got our chain two and our first proper stitch. So we want 10 more. Okay, so you should have 12 stitches including that chain two. So just double check before you go any further. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 and 12. So at this point we want to close off. So I'm going to skip the chain two because I don't like the way that that join looks when you're joining a circle. So I'm going to skip the chain two and I'm going to join, let me just take my hook out, so I'll skip this chain two and I'm going to join into the top of that first proper treble that we did. So ignore the chain and join through the whole of the top of that first proper treble. So slip stitch, so yarn over and pull through both loops. I'm changing colour now so I'm just going to chain one and snip off. And then I'll just pull that out and pull tight. So that is your first round. So you can be really, really good now and sew in your ends so that they're not getting in your way. Once you're ready to start your petals, you'll start once more with a slip knot on your hook. And just make sure that the right side is facing you because obviously there is a front and a back. So the, the tops of the stitches will naturally lean towards you when it's facing the right way. And what we're going to do now is insert our hook into the top of any treble. So any treble and then yarn over and pulse the loop through the loop that's on your hook just to attach that yarn to your work. We're now going to be doing a round of double trebles. So that's a UK double treble or in the US these will simply be your trebles. But we want to start with a chain three to start this first one. So we're going to be doing a three double treble cluster stitch, okay? So this first one is slightly different to all the others. So we've got a chain three, we want to yarn over twice and go back into that same stitch where we've attached our yarn. Yarn over and pull up and you'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Yarn over, pull through the next two and stop when you've got your two loops on the hook. Yarn over twice again, go back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the next two, 
and we've got three loops. And at this point, we want to yarn over, pull through all three of those loops. And that creates our first petal. You then want to chain two. And I'll just show you a full petal, because obviously that first one was different because we had the chains. So into the top of the very next stitch, you'll start your next one. So yarn over twice and insert into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two and stop. Yarn over twice, back into the same stitch. Yarn over and pull up. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And one more time, yarn over twice and insert. Yarn over and pull up. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two and stop there and you'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all four of those loops and chain two and then again into your next stitch. So if you complete that all the way around and make sure at the end you have 12 petals. Okay, so I've worked my petals all the way around. I've stopped before I've closed off and I've just double checked that I've definitely got my 12 petals and we're ready then to close off. So make sure you've done your final chain two and then you want to aim for this space in between your first two petals and you'll slip stitch into that space to close off. So again, I'm going to snip off. Okay, so that is how you should be looking. Don't worry if it curls up a little bit like mine is here, it will flatten out once we start adding our granny square rounds. So I'm going to bring in my final colour to square off. So again, we will start with a slip knot on the hook and then you can attach into any of your chain spaces between your petals. So just yarn over and just pull that through to attach. So we're going to start with a chain two. So one and two, and that is going to count as our first UK treble or US double. You then want to do two more trebles into this space. So one and two. And this is going to become a corner space. So we want to chain two to create a corner and then back into this same space, we're going to do three more trebles. So you'll have six trebles and a chain two all in this same space. Okay, so that creates our first corner. Into this next chain space, we're going to do three half trebles or US half doubles. So yarn over, insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through all three loops. I'll show you that one more time. Yarn over, insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So you want three of those into that space. And then you want three half trebles or half doubles into the next space as well. So again, three half trebles, UK terms. <laughs> And then we're back to creating another corner space. So we want three UK trebles into the next space, two and three. Create your new corner by chaining two and then back into that same space you'll do three more trebles. One, two and three. And then again, three half trebles. And three half trebles into the next space as well. And then corner. So you should be able to repeat that all the way around now. Pause or rewind if you need to, just to firm up these stitches for this round but I will meet you in just a second. So once you've worked that all the way around, you're just going to slip stitch into the top of that starting chain two from the beginning of the round. So that is how it should look at this point. As I say, you can stop here if you wanted to after just one round of squaring off, but if you want to add the second round like I've done on the squares I showed you before, then we're just going to slip stitch to our corner space. 
So slip stitch across the tops of those two trebles and into your corner space. And then we'll chain two and two trebles. And then you'll create your new corner with a chain two and then back into the same space you'll do two, you'll do three more trebles. So we're going to be using UK trebles for the whole of this round now because obviously we've already squared off. So into the spaces, you can see we've got a space here, a space here, and a space here. So in between all your groups of trebles, you will put three trebles. So into your next space here, you'll do your three trebles. And then again, after your next three trebles, you've got another space here. And we'll do three trebles. And again, you've got three stitches and then your final space just here. And then again, we're at our corner space. So you will do three trebles, chain two, and three trebles back into that same space. And then again, you're ready to work your next side into your spaces. So again, if you complete that all the way around. So again, once you've worked that all the way around, you will slip stitch one final time into the top of that chain two, and then fasten up. And then there you will have your beautiful little daisy granny squares. So I really do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please do remember to give it a thumbs up and also like and then subscribe to the channel and click that little bell icon so that you always get notified whenever I upload a new video. But that's it and thank you as always for watching and bye for now.